In this clip I will interpret the determinant as an expansion factor of a linear transformation T. So recall that the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix A is A, B, C, D, where I have two columns a V and W. I can write I can, I can make the following picture. So here I depicted V and W and I can choose an orthogonal part to V which is minus C A. Then the determinant of A is no more than the inner product of minus C A which is V the, per, the, the vector in blue perpendicular to V, the inner product with W, which is BD. So now I look at the angle between this perpendicular vector to V and W, then I know using the formula for the angle between the two that this is no more than the length of minus CA times the length of BD times the cosinus, the absolute value of the cosinus of this angle of W with minus CA. Now we look at V perp, which is the vector over here. This difference, the length of V perp is the sinus of a half pi minus phi times the length of W. So this is actually what we have here is the length of V and V perp, which is the area of the parallelogram. So what happens? So if we have the following square formed by span by 1, 0, and 0, 1, and we apply the linear transformation A times X, what comes out is actually the first column which is a mapping of 1, 0, that's V, and W, it's a mapping of 0, 1. So actually what we get is that we have omega, the area of omega is 1, is transformed in the area T omega, so which is actually the absolute value of the determinant of A. So the determinant of the matrix A is can be seen as expansion factor of the linear transformation T. And we can apply the same reasoning to other kinds of areas. So look an area in R2, omega, irregular shape, which is transformed by a matrix T in some other set, maybe this one then we can actually subdivide omega in squares, like this. And what comes out is actually each of these squares is transformed in some parallelogram. So actually this omega on the left hand side is transformed in T omega and the surface or the surface area of the new set T omega is the determinant, the absolute value of the determinant of A times the area spanned by omega. Now we'll interpret the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix in terms of an expansion factor. So suppose A has columns U, V and W. Then these three vectors span a parallel epipedal. Yeah, in gray we have this parallel epipedal. So now we're going to calculate the volume of the parallelopipedon. We're going to do this by making a vector, creating a vector perpendicular to V and W, which is formed by the cross product of V and W. And we take the orthogonal part of U, or the part of U that is actually parallel to this 
cross product. And the determinant of a in absolute value equals, by definition of the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, the inner product of u with the cross product of v and w. And now we're going to look at the angle of u. with the cross product. So we know that actually the, the inner product equals the length of u times the length of the cross product times the cosinus of phi, which equals the cross product, the length of the cross product, times, well, the cosinus phi times the vector u it is just the length of u perp, the thing that is the vector that is parallel to the cross product. And we know that actually the length of, of the, 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 the size of uh, the length of the cross product of v and w is just measuring the surface spanned by v and w, which is actually the parallelogram. Uh, so we find here the volume of a parallelopipedon by multiplying with its height. So now we have what we see is actually if we start off with a unit cube in the sense that the blue cube is transformed using t into the parallelopipedon on the right hand side of which we calculated the volume. So the volume of t Omega, where omega is this unit cube, is the determinant of A times the volume of omega, the unit cube, which is 1. So the determinant is actually the expansion factor of T. So we calculated it using uh, the volume of the parallelopipedon. The volume of the parallelopipedon is clearly the area, yeah, the, the ground surface of the parallelopipedon, which is the norm or the length of the cross product of V and W times its height. And its height is U perp, and U perp is calculated using the angle between the, the, the cross product of V and W, which is perpendicular to V and W, and the angle with U.